Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning Ozcast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details. Nurses, we just want to thank you for everything you do. We are shiftkey.com. Log on today and connect to open PRN shifts in your area. Work when you want, where you want. You can even get paid next day. Shiftkey.com. Start today. Welcome to Best Team Men. Now, we know what round it is. Andy, you dug this up before. Yes, I did. What round is it? Uh, what did I write? 27. <laughs> 27. There we go. 27. And is that just this year? Yes. Yep. That's amazing. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <is> it? <laughs> yeah, it is. So yeah, when you used to send it through to me, that was for the year. Yes. Yeah, okay, there you go. That, this yep. year. That is really, we should be really proud of that. The uh, the thing we shouldn't be proud of is the fact that we were supposed to put Andy's audio into the intro. Look. Uh, which look. didn't happen. Sometimes when you make a mistake, you've got to put your hand up and own up to it. And I'm not prepared to do that this time. I was too busy. Okay. Well, I get it. I'm the new guy. Mm. You know, you, we've got to form relationships you, know, no, you may you, not like me. You need to be on straight away. <laughs> no, that, that, is, that is my fault. I, I put my hand up for that, so I apologise to you, Andy. That's, That's totally, totally fine. good. Like you had a cyclone in Waffle Valley last night. <laughs> and we, I, we did I, have a yeah, tornado, yeah. apparently, and I slept through the whole thing. Mm, you are a, you are a pretty heavy sleeper. Uh, what we do have though is a brand new logo, which yeah. looks brilliant. We're really happy with that because Andy's part of the logo now. I think when we do our new intro, if we aim for this time next week to have a new intro, we don't have your voice saying representing the sport yeah. because we're not representing no. sport anymore. Not anymore no. So we could get Taylor or Rosie from the Up and Go podcast <laughs> yeah. to voice that if they do it for free. But I yeah. spoke to Rosie yesterday and she said to me, so what was your favourite episode? And I'm like, I haven't listened to the podcast. And you're, like, my, you're, like, you're like the chocolate one. Yeah, well, my wife, I said, remember, listens to the podcast. And last night I, I actually busted her because as soon as I opened the front door, I reckon she just pressed play to prove that she was listening to the podcast because <laughs> oh. I walk in the door, hear a little bit of shuffling and then I, Representing the. <laughs> yeah. oh, I love your podcast. Yeah. What was your favourite bit? Oh, the first seven seconds was my favourite. <laughs> then I'm going to prepare dinner. <laughs> so we are here. We've got. I mean, there's a fair bit to discuss. Yeah. Do, do we talk about birthday boy first? Because, yeah. Maddie, happy birthday. We don't have birthday music. What no, do we have? We've got some of this. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, mate. How Thanks, old did mate. you turn? Uh, 36. All right. You are going to get to that and uh, y- your thoughts on mm. birthdays very shortly. Do you mm. do anything special or are you feeling good? Oh, I'm always feeling good, but no, nothing really that special. I went out to lunch yesterday with my wife and we went to the driving range and hit some golf balls and that was about it, really. That's okay. I actually sent your wife a DM on Instagram. Um, oh, my voice just broke. Then Adelaide United. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> I actually sent him off a message on this. I'm gonna. I'll bring that audio yeah, for uh, please the do. next one because we're going through all the old audio I've got. While well, I'm backing up fifty four thousand emails, <laughs> still going at home and finding all this old stuff. And uh, so I found a photo of you and I from our days. Yes. Um, when we were DJing and MCing at nightclubs, and I, I put it up because Maddie's wearing a hat. I don't know if you saw it, Andy. Maddie's wearing a hat. He looks like he got from the bloody flea markets. He's wearing a fake Orlando Magic hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's like, going on with that jaw? Is he oh, chewing that or what's going on? Out. The Chicago Magic, Shaquille Jordan, my favourite yeah, player. Shaquille yeah. Jordan. <laughs> and oh. I've, I've written no, happy look, birthday and your missus wrote a response to the picture and she wrote, 
Oh my god, he looks terrifying. And I wrote, "He's a great kisser." <laughs> <laughs> no, see, I, I I go back to when we used to work together. Yeah. All right, and there were times where we would take a photo, and the instruction from you would be to look as creepy as we could. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't have to pull a face or anything. That's just me natural. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's me <laughs> trying to pull a creepy face. Yeah. So, it worked well. We do yeah. look a lot younger back then. <laughs> we a lot. Yeah. Far out. We've aged pretty poorly. Um. So we're, we're going to discuss you and birthdays throughout the podcast. It might be another extended round because I thought it was great last time. What did you think, Andy? Yeah, you know what? I listened back to it, I think, three times. Awesome. So yeah, we've definitely got up. three yep. listeners. That's great. right. We have got three listeners and I wrote all the reviews as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I should have been a bit Um... No, no, I listened back to it, and the fifty-three minutes or whatever the podcast was went super quick. Yeah, and and is it, that because you press fast forward? Hey, I did. I put it on like times <laughs> five. <you> <laughs> I love this chipmunk best team, man. <laughs> but in the uh, CBAA, right? So the Community Broadcasters of Australia um, Awards they do. It's like the it's like the Acras or the uh, yeah, the Logies. For, how, do, how do we get nominated? No, well, we can't because we're a podcast, oh, not a radio. Oh, but they have an award called uh, you "Can't Get Out of the Car" award, and it's for yeah. good content. Where if you're listening to it in the car you're going to wait until it finishes before you get out of the car. Right. Gotcha. Shitty content, you get straight out of the car, right? Yeah. Correct. I sat in the car for an extra 15 minutes to finish the particular uh, like part that we are talking about last week. That's, That's great perfect. feedback. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, I'm not some, narcissistic. It's not because I was in it or anything. But, it was, yeah, but like Maddie said during the week, you listen to it not as part of the podcast, mm. but you're listening to it as a listener. Yeah, you know what's coming up. Like we know what we've spoken about. Yeah, and you remember certain parts of it, and you know what's coming, but you still want to listen to it. Yeah. Well, well speaking of what's coming up, uh, Andy was on the beers again this week. We need to discuss this because <laughs> we saw that on social <laughs> boys. <laughs> um, the, the story I didn't get to last week about when I almost met Alicia Keys uh, in Hong Kong. Um, uh, Andy, Matt and I, you're not across this yet. Matt and I had the most uncomfortable text message exchange. <laughs> it was only made uncomfortable by you. It was well, Okay, so we're going to read out the text message exchange and then okay. you can make up your own mind. We'll do Can't that. Um, we need to talk about the first time that you discovered the internet, which will be very interesting. Andy's found some more gold, or so to speak, from what I did on radio one day, and uh, Andy's sporting a new haircut, as, lo- as well as <laughs> the normal things that we do, such as a Port Pirates update. We'll put some names on the plaque. The multi will give away that uh, voucher. And speaking of voucher and our sponsors, Maddie, yes. get straight into the news. Okay, so I've gone to visit Con. Okay, but let me go back a little bit. We decided we needed a new logo to put Andy's name on it. Correct. Okay, the old gold little cup didn't have Andy's name on it, so we thought, you know what, new member, new logo. And Andy's whipped up a um, what clip was, art, a clip, <laughs> <laughs> a shutter speaking, sock. Yeah. Speaking of the first time I went on the internet, um, it was back in '95, and I kept that clip art kit, and I made our trophy. Like, what's, oh. You know what's funny about that? I think I saw an ad over the weekend or something on a big screen somewhere where they had the most dodgy looking trophy. And I'm like, you've just pulled that from Microsoft PowerPoint. Then yeah. I realised it was our <laughs> logo. <laughs> So Andy whipped up a, a medallion <laughs> with a red, white, and blue strap around it. Yeah. Um, he's got our three names on it. Yeah. And on the flip side, he's got best team men. Yep. Okay. So uh, after that went up, within, I reckon, a couple of hours, I'd copped an inbox from Con at Brighton Trophy Centre. So Con works with Lena as well. Lena's his missus. So right. I reckon we need to say Con and Lena Con and from Lena. now on. Yeah, Con and Lena. Yeah, because yeah. They, and they both listen. Um, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, both together. Yeah. So, Shout yeah. out to Con and Lena. There, there, there's mine for the week. Uh, Con and Lena, up on the plate. Plate. <laughs> <laughs> None of that makes sense. <laughs> is Andy still on the beers? Or? <laughs> All I'm saying is I had a lot of stout yesterday. And I'm very, I'm very <laughs> flat today. Yeah, you stink. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, so Con and Lena. Yeah. So, Con, yeah, so Wait, Lena can go up on the plaque today. Okay, for sure. Because okay. Con's already up there. I mean, so, we yeah. were going to say that later, but yeah. <laughs> especially when you said Con and Lena can go on the plate. Plate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, hey, so boys, going anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, but so, yeah, Con. Yeah, so Con. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I got, I got an inbox from Con, and he sent me a photo through of three replica medallions on blue and white and red straps. <sighs> what a man that guy is. Uh, he is an absolute guru. And this honestly, is amazing. And you can tell that he's designed them con because I don't know if you were aware he was he was speaking to me during the week. He's also into creative stuff like right. his art, but he was bullshitting because he's a con artist. Yeah. Oh! This is awesome. So we're going to put this on our socials. Our social media account is at Best Team Men on Twitter, Facebook.com forward slash Best Team Men. Now that's not where this ends. 
I haven't told you guys this. I went and picked him up this morning. Yeah, okay. Great, Drop, dropped in to see Con and Leo. How exciting. Right? Walking in the door. Great man. Yep. What's on the LED? Uh, funniest. Podcast, yeah, that's yeah, 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 that's that's awesome. he's done well. Yeah. 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 He, what I love about Con, he takes direct with respect feedback. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 quick turnaround as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Because, <laughs> like, if we actually, I think Con just does what we say, but we're very respectful. Because if we said Con, can you please write best team in? Two out of the three are circumcised. I think <laughs> he would yeah, write, yeah, write yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're respectful of the business. Yeah. Don't write Don't that. Don't write that. No, but he's no. going to write which one do you think is it? <laughs> <laughs> Interaction. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Get a bit of feedback from the listeners. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I've gone in. Okay, Con's given us the medallions. He's given me the medallions. And he said, hang on a second, I've got something else for you. And he walks around the corner and he pulls out this 24 pack of spring water. This and is what you've brought in. Yeah, this is what I've brought in. So he goes, you know, I heard the water there is frozen and undrinkable. Can oh, please, yeah, of course. Can last week? Yeah, you can open yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to open one of these just to test it because I think your one from last week's still thawing out. <laughs> so. Yeah. so there you go. So Con's given us a 24-pack uh, bottle of uh, spring water. Wow. Pack it. So Jared's That's just, amazing. Oh, it's gorgeous. He's just had one. Oh, so, like, but it, it doesn't end there. What? No. It, obviously, you guys alluded that it was my birthday yesterday, which yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, all you needed to do was go on social media and you could see that it was your birthday with yeah. your three Facebook accounts. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, there's a reason behind that. <laughs> and the three we don't talk about, boys. <laughs> G'day, my name is Matthew Burner. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Con has gone, I didn't know what to get you for your birthday. Yeah. Goes around, back around the corner, and yeah. pulls out a slab 24 pack of fans. No way. <laughs> yes. That's the best. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Jared, from your point of view, yeah. in the years that you've worked in commercial radio, yeah. that has been the best interaction with a sponsor ever. Mate, it's been incredible. And what I love most about Con and Lena, or as Andy said, Connelina. Connelina <laughs> um, and the plate was. Is that, is that, is that like, a, uh, like a Brangelina or something? <laughs> I, I really do think so. Yeah. Uh, it's going to yeah. stick yeah, and it'll be on the new t shirts. Well, we'll do it in the ad we do at halfway through point at half time of this round. Yes. Um, what I love is that this is just. This is just organic stuff, right? So Con liked listening to the podcast. Is The reason we do this, anybody who gives us positive feedback is great because we have a good time no matter what. If no one listened to the podcast, that's cool because we have a great time and it's just led to this. And, you, you know, we uh, we do the ads now on 5AA for Brighton Trophy Centre. Rowie loves doing it. Like, it's, it's a really nice thing. And I think all three of us, especially in 2020, we've spoken about, like, the connections and the friendships and relationships that you have are the most important thing. And Con's been absolutely amazing. So we're, we're, we're more grateful that you are investing in what we do. And when when we can, we'll all go down to uh, where you are on Brighton Road and uh, we will be able to have a drink with you and we'll just have some fun, mate, because yeah. it's been amazing. Well, because Con has uh, kindly been so involved in the show, I was talking to my mum about what Con does for the show and how amazing he is. Yeah. She's going down there to do some trophy business. No oh, way. Get some engraving go. done on some gear as well. Beautiful. That's amazing. What yeah. for? Just oh, for you, like, best son ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't really get that many trophies when I was younger, boys. I know. You got one now. You know what's funny? Like, you know when you play, like... Um, <laughs> Um, representative sport in year mm. six and seven, like Sapsaza and all that sort of stuff, and you go away and you get a billet, yeah, and then they come to you. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in yep. year seven, I went to, I was lucky enough to billet to Port Pirie and yeah, uh, yeah. stayed with the family there. And my billet's mum then decided that she wanted to spill the beans that he had never won a trophy, so he went to the trophy store in Port Pirie and bought himself one. Yeah, see, I like well, that. Yeah. I, that's something I would do. Go do what you do. <laughs> so you know how we, with Con and uh, we, we were talking about um, Thor last week and you guys started going off on this journey of uh, if you were a tradie and you, your thumb with Thor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Pass me the Thor. First of all, two things happened on the weekend. Um, uh, I went to a birthday party and my missus decided to tell uh, the woman that I told the story about the podcast oh, and she said, hey, Jared, you, you, know, you should tell the story about what you said on the podcast about Thor. I'm like, no, I shouldn't. No. <laughs> Have, what, why are you doing this? Have you why met you Thor? This? No, I haven't. No, okay. unluckily. Um, but someone actually came up to me, and I need to give um, Sam Tugwell from um, another podcast, Press Box Ep, um, credit for this because he said to me, um, think about this, right, guys? In, yeah. the, in the whole kind of theme of what you said, how do you think the unthinkable? 
with an iceberg. Oh! Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Think about it. <laughs> Just go through your head. How do you think the unthinkable with an oh, iceberg? Okay, yeah, now I'm with you. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Are yes. you? Okay, yes. Go on. Yes. Go on. Nine, no, nine, nine, nine times out of ten, we'll say that. No, no, no. I think the unthinkable. Yes. yes. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Okay, so Con, Brighton Trophy Centre, Con and Lena, thank you very much. Con and Lena. Uh, we do have another sponsor. We do, Shifty Lizard Brewing up in Wollonga. All right, yep. we'll get to their $20 voucher very soon as well. Um, I'm yet to try Shifty Lizard, so we've got to find out when we speak to them next where you can purchase it from. Yep. So we can um, we'll get a list. We can pump them up. But I've got some news for you guys. Really? Yep. I haven't put this on our kind of plan. We don't really plan, but this is... Le- this is, this is it's it. exciting when we do this. It this really is. This like, is I'm, legitimate I'm news. nervous <laughs> and excited at the same time. Yeah. Okay. How are your feet going? That's weird. In winter. <laughs> just talk to me about your feet. My feet are fine. Um, I actually think I've got quite picturesque feet, to be honest. Gross. Like foot model. Could potentially be, yes. Wow. We're learning a lot about you today, well, mate. Well, I can make sure that we have best team men's socks, right? And if you want to be the foot model for that... Perfect. Well, I mean, you and merchandise hasn't really gone well before. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm Morning glad, price, I can I'm, get a lot of them. I'm glad you raised that mm. because the lovely people at Odd Sock Mob are joining Best Team Men. Yeah! yeah. So I'm wearing their socks at the moment. So they pride themselves in Odd Socks, right? So literally I'm wearing Odd Socks at the moment. Yep. So um, via Nate Turner, he got in touch with me and he said, mate, these dudes, they would love to be involved. And they would like to give away some socks to our listeners. Unbelievable. So we'll That's get some awesome. pairs for you That's boys so to wear. Yeah. And this is what I thought of. I've been wearing are, socks for years. Yeah, exactly. And now you can officially do it. Yeah. They are on Instagram as well. So on Instagram, they are at Odd Sock Mob. Um, if you want to press the follow button right now, at Odd Sock Mob, they, they look amazing. You can see it right now on my, my screen. That's great. It looks awesome. We'll, we'll put a link in the... Um, the how, how good would it be to work there, though? Because you'd be so lazy. Because exactly. when you're packaging, you're like, there, one over there, one over there. Yeah, she be right. Imagine, exactly. imagine, imagine, imagine if you got a pair. <laughs> you're yeah. fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. The challenge is because Odd Sock Mob are now uh, part of our sponsorship. I think we've kind of tiered the sponsorship. We've got a real... Con being and Lena at Brighton Trophy Centre are our massive major sponsor, major sponsor. If yep, you're looking yep. at the plaque underneath, we've got tiered sponsors as well. Yep. However, if you want the chance to win a pair of odd socks from Odd Sock Mob, you need to promote our podcast. Yes. Simple as that. If you Simple. hear it or you go on to Twitter when we share it, if you retweet our podcast or you give it a rating or a review or you give your honest feedback or thoughts, even if you say, I love Fanta, Something like that. It doesn't matter. Be plenty but of those by, by, in. Exactly. If you <laughs> naturally promote the pod, you said it real. Probably not. Yeah, because they're, they're all your fake accounts yeah. and your burner ones. In the <laughs> <That's exactly right. laughs> oh, at Matt, at Matt loves Fanta. It's written in. Says loves Fanta. <laughs> so promote the podcast, and we will take your details. And then, so they've said to us, uh, like at least once a month. There's a chance we'll do it every second week. We'll give away a pair of socks. That's unreal. An odd socks awesome. That's so um, to people who promote the podcast and Ozcast Network and, and stuff like that. So thank you very much to them for joining Best Team Man. It's That's amazing, great. isn't it? It is. Yeah, like it's great. we started talking sport. Yep. And now we are. Uh, I went back and listened to our first episode the other day. How'd that go? Yeah. Horrible. What's yeah. your feedback on that? Like, it, we, we <laughs> quit. Were you guys nervous or like just unsure about unsure. what was going on? Yeah. We know we wanted yeah. to work together. It sounded like I was halfway down Peary Street. You couldn't hear oh, really? me. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's not bad, Jared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so I think the sporting stuff should yeah. happen like this. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> no, it's amazing to, to see the growth amongst, well, more so Jared and myself, you're brand new, but. G'day guys. <laughs> oh, mate. Andy, Andy's just sitting in the corner yeah. just yeah. hydrating. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone got any hydrolite guys? <laughs> you kind of feel Come that on. actually because yeah, we've we've aged, we've aged in the podcast, you've aged, you're another year older, Maddie, and yeah. you're struggling turning old, aren't you? I am. I'm not dealing with it well at so all. So technically you're the young buck because we're all 36. Jared goes first, I go second, mm. and you're, you're up. I've just oh. turned 36, yeah. yeah. Wow. So it's, it, yesterday was uh, eye-opening because – the more every time you have a birthday, the less and less significant it gets. Mm. Um, the less excited I get about it, 
And I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if you guys felt the same or not. Do you not, look back and you go, where have my 30s gone? Wait a sec, where yeah. have my 20s gone as well? well? A little bit of that, yeah. And holy shit, I'm closer to 40 than I am to 30. Yeah. That's not ideal. I used to joke with a mate when we turned 20, oh, you're halfway to 40, and now I'm halfway to 72. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not enjoyable at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're laughing, but we're also crying at the same time. We really yeah. are. Um, did you go and buy yourself a present? Did I buy myself one? Yeah. No, I didn't. But that's the other thing. Like, I reckon when you're younger, you look forward to getting presents. Yeah. yeah. But when you're older, if you want something, you just go and buy it. You don't really, yeah. like, you don't need anything. And my missus and my family are like, what do you want? And I'm like, well, a million bucks? I don't know. Like, yeah. what, anything I want, I just go and get now. But well, someone's doing yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want, I don't want a lot of stuff. Yeah, exactly. so, yeah. All I want is a cut and a fan tuck. Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, you find it weird that you get to an age and you go, mum, can you please, you, you kind of transition from mum, can you please stop getting me socks and jocks to mum, can you please <laughs> me? get me socks and jocks? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then, then you think about it because my mum gets me all these designer Bonds jocks for Christmas, which are all weirdos, but I love them. But then you get to a point when you think, is it weird that as a 36-year-old man, my mum is the only person that buys my jocks? <laughs> Like, really? Yeah. yeah. Like, like do, do you go, hey, mum, I need the extra large this year, you know what I'm saying? No, Things are going well, you know. She would go, no, you don't, honey, you don't. <laughs> Things are going well. <laughs> Winter's coming up, Jared. We know what goes on there. Yeah, uh, I, I think you're right. It, it, when it comes to birthdays and stuff, they, they come and go. And especially, like, when you have to work, you just go, oh, God, I yeah, I have to get it over with. Like, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not that enjoyable. No. I, I feel embarrassed when people will say happy birthday Mate, now. Same, like, oh, and, I hate it. it. I hate checking the Facebook on the day. Yeah, mm. you know, like going through and like you're like, oh god, do I actually have to reply to every single one? You have yeah. to, you but, have but, to like them but, all. But also, like, uh, it's, yeah, it's this weird embarrassment where you just want to get it over and done with, and move on for the next day. Did yeah. you check all three of your Facebook accounts? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I can't what? remember the what? login to the other two. <laughs> what? You can't even remember the login to our best team in Twitter account. No, you're right. I can't. We. Need Need to do that because I I you wanted need access to it yeah yeah because I, I want to start tweeting some stuff which isn't responsibly connected to my name okay. I've got oh, some yeah, great yeah I've got some great stuff <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah no, no, some really good no, stuff I'll, I'll work that one out for us and send it on thank you very much social media speaking of which we saw yesterday Andy uh, which I thought was from the night before but then I realised hold on it's two o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> and Andy's on the beers mate when you're a business owner anything can happen so, so, so what, what is your beers. Uh, beers. Beers. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Everyone thought it was going to be ciders uh, for me, but uh, mm. I decided, no, it's for a podcast. Let's do beers. Okay. So, um, <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, what podcast it was, it was called uh, Blind Drunk, which is a sub-podcast of another podcast called Blind Insights. Right. And the, the blind bit is one of the guys is blind. Right. right. But he's a philosopher, dude, like lecturer, doctor, whatever. And then on the side, he loves beers and hanging out and stuff. So they do this podcast called Blind Drunk, yeah. which they will just literally just have maybe four or five beers. They'll review them um, and also just have a chat with him and you know, see what comes up. It's like the best team men, but with beers. Right. See, I and still think we guy. should do that. We we need to pencil in a, a Friday night to do best team men on a Friday night here yep. with some beers and wine. We could yep. do it with some Shifty Lizard. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Yep. Boom. Uh, so we've headed up to Crayfish Hotel. Um, because they have a wide range of uh, boutique beers up there. And we uh, gave it a crack, and we gave it a pretty good crack. Yeah, so um, for you knowing how you normally go, yeah. you go, no, mate, I'm driving. And then you'll eventually go, I'm driving the bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you have one or two, and then you've you've crossed the point where you're like, actually, I'm just going to have a session. Uh, yeah, so what happened, uh, like we, we got our own transport up there and, and got an Uber back and stuff. So uh, I didn't have to worry about driving mm. or anything like that. I had family responsibilities afterwards, of course, but uh, mm. we got there. I was like, oh man, I'll have a couple of ciders and then we'll head home. Yeah. Uh, I went, nah, let's give the stout a crack. <laughs> and uh, five stouts later and a lot of percentages, um, I was very merry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to listen to this Andy podcast. Andy knows, and he's, he's being very safe, he knows that we're not a smutty podcast. No. <laughs> and you can tell he's really struggling to get this story. <laughs> well, also, um, I wanted to make sure when I got home that night that I wasn't like the thumb that couldn't speak yeah. the last time I got home after a big night out. Um, so I, I paced myself and drank heaps of water and uh, no one else did. So I was that sober guy in the corner going, this is... Oh, so you're okay rush. this morning? Uh, pretty hung, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, well, like I said uh, a few podcasts ago, I can't do more than a couple of ciders. Yeah, like 
half a stout. And I was like, this one's hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, and like I went really hard in my 20s. You know, like I went really hard. So my poor liver's just cooked. I remember the first time I met Andy. I don't think we've ever spoken about this. I met him at the Grand, right? And I reckon it was a no, not a Nova party, but there was something upstairs, a f- private function. And I had just finished my personal trainer's course and Andy was looking to get some training, right? <laughs> and we were both absolutely happy. <laughs> what was I? <laughs> <laughs> and I was uh, I dressed as a pirate? <laughs> no, not that time. Okay. No, no, no. And, so, <laughs> and that's where I met Andy. We, I coerced him into some personal training well, sessions. Were we working together or were we just No, there? that was the first time we'd met. I reckon was, was we, it a Sunday night? Uh, it was a Sunday night. It was a long weekend, and I reckon oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there because yeah. I'd just finished my course and been ticked off. Yeah, and we were all the whole was class I, was out celebrating. Was and I there with my old housemate Paul Curran, who used no. to do all the work before Jared guess. until he took all the work? <laughs> oh, come on, no. <laughs> yeah. you well? You, you were there with Shane, I reckon. Oh yes, yeah. And right. um, you were like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm a personal trainer. And he's like, yeah, I'll beat your pants. He's swimming if you need any lessons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. And then that led to you eating donuts for breakfast. That's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. And Red Bulls. Yeah. Oh, oh, my Good God. Times. Good times. <laughs> well, boys, a story I didn't get to last week and I wanted to, because I'm being re- really reflective with, with radio and what, what's happening in the industry at the moment, obviously, was what, what's, ha- what's happened at Channel 10 and with, with the company I work for. There's lots of changes coming. So um, I'm just looking at all the old stuff I've done, backing up emails and all that other stuff yeah. just in case and uh, uh, you go through photos like the ra- radio industry is amazing there's it's certainly not what it seems when you listen to the products go to air and stuff there's so much stuff that goes on behind the, the scenes which is stressful and taxing and it's it's a full-on industry well the way i sort of explain it is uh anyone that's on air or the face of the station whether that be the street team yeah or anything like that they're brilliant actors half the time because they have to look a certain way for the company and the way that the business is and stuff. Yeah, it's tough. Lots of pressure. Yeah, and there's moments where things just happen. You have to adapt to change. I've had times where um, about 10 years ago I was told that something is affecting my work in a negative way and they're like, cool, good luck on the air, mate. I'm like, oh. So uh-huh. you, you just have to basically just suck it up and pretend everything's fine. And if you think about it, like your job as a radio announcer is to make everybody else happy, no matter what's happening in your personal life. If you feel sick, if you've had a fight with your missus, if your grandfather's yeah, you, passed away, you've you got, you got to be that same person. You've got to be up and about. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's even more exhausting when you go through those negative times because you have to take a deep breath and go, I just have to zone out here for a couple of hours. It's Especially tough. with what used to be called the bat phone, which was yeah. uh, a phone that was in the studio that would be connected to a, a flashing green light. And if that flashing green light rang, you had to answer. It's like the CEO has that number, the PD, yeah. that's about it. So if that right. rings, you have to answer. Yeah. And back in the day, it was always the PD. Yeah. Later, you didn't talk. Uh, you, you're supposed to wait three seconds for the start of the song and then start speaking. Not Full two on. seconds, buddy. Oh, and like would literally, yeah. yeah. How, how hard is it to sort of bite your tongue there and not say, mate, go and get stuff? It's, well, oh, yeah, you, it's tough. you got to pick your battles, yeah. for sure. Well, you got to because you also go, hold on a second. Like as the boss, do they wait until the end of the shift when you continually make that mistake to tell you yeah. or do they risk throwing you mentally halfway through and saying, nah, fix it now. And you yeah. go, hold on, wait a sec, don't tell me. Like some, yeah. some people don't like being spoken to while they're on air. Some people I've worked with don't be, like being looked at when like they're on the Oh, air. yeah. <laughs> I know what, uh, I can say her name if you want. No, um, what happens if you don't answer that phone? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You, that your mobile trouble. starts ringing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I accidentally, when the bat phone rang once, I accidentally thought I messaged my wife and said, insert name here, is being such an asshole today. Fire out, can't wait to get home. Accidentally sent it to the boss. Yes. Oh. And then uh, he's like, oh, was that meant for me? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> so anyway, there's, there's some cool stuff that happens with radio. And back when when there was kind of like... The cool stuff happening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there used to be record labels and PR companies before Zoom or anything existed. They would say, hey, so and so's in Australia for uh, a movie premiere. Do you want to go and speak to them? So I filled in once for American Rosso in Sydney. I just did their best of show. And they said, there's no one on site to go and interview um, a chick who was on... Um, uh, Transformers movie that uh, Isabel Lucas, her name is, oh, she's yeah. in Transformers. Oh, yeah. So I went and interviewed yeah. her, like just about the movie, like cool stuff like that. Yeah. Some people get flown overseas to do these interviews. Like you still see that now sometimes as well. They go on the whole, the whole junket. And I sat down in the boss's office uh, this one time, and this was, I think, in 2006. And they said, Hey, mate, what are you doing this weekend? 
And I was like, oh, I don't think I'm doing much. He said, okay, do you want to interview Alicia Keys? I'm like, wow. Yes, I would. And they say, <laughs> great. Um, here's the deal. It's in Hong Kong. Oh. I'm like, hold on. So you're saying you're going to put me on a plane, fly me to Hong Kong, I interview Alicia Keys, and I come back. It's like, yep, yep, that's what you're going to do. I'm like, that is brilliant. Sign me up. Yes, yeah, so I've rung my missus, who was my, just my girlfriend at the time, saying, this is amazing. I've got this opportunity. I'm going to do this. This is absolutely brilliant. I was pumped. I was on top of the world. And you, you probably notice I'm saying the word was <laughs> because the next day, and this was on a Saturday, and I think I was supposed to fly out on the Sunday. The Saturday I got a call from the boss saying, hey, mate, uh, the Alicia Keys thing isn't happening. Uh, I said, hold on a sec. What do you mean they've cancelled? He's like, no, 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 that's still happening. We have to send someone else. And I'm like, why? Look, it's going to be difficult to explain to you and you probably won't understand, but we've just got to do what the company wants here. What's happening? So a couple of months before, <laughs> I had agreed to um, to host a, um, a bingo party at the Marion Hotel, and um, the sales guy at the time cracked the shits because I would be missing out on hosting the bingo day at the Marion oh, Hotel. No, and put his foot down and said to the bosses, "You oh, know, <laughs> we have an agreement with uh, the Marion Hotel. No way, and Jared will be hosting this bingo day oh. and will not be flying to Hong Kong to do this once in a lifetime oh. interview with Alicia Keys." Nah, that's oh, not, <laughs> not having that. That is actual bullshit. <laughs> oh, I'm not you having that. You imagine Who wants this I mean, bloke? I mean, you know, like the Hilly Group's great, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. but. Can you imagine <laughs> and this me? is this is old Marion Hotel. This yeah. isn't new, updated Marion no, no, Hotel. Is, and then yeah. me on a Sunday, I'm just going. Oh, two fat ladies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, remember that mate. time? Remember that time that we did the bingo night together? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can only imagine, mate. It, it, this. Oh, I, you know what? I wouldn't have gone. I would have, I would have had a sicky out of principle. Just, for that. Yeah, it yeah. was so deflating. But because I had committed to doing this, they cracked it, and well, I, I had to do it. That's not. That, that, that's a fair indication of how the commercial. Uh, media works though that they will literally switch lanes for clients yeah you know, if, but ultimately like if you look at it for everything i did commit to doing it so it's it is what it is what were you at that point we just like we an afternoon's announcer just or the morning's announcer yeah, okay. yeah 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 so who they couldn't get someone else oh, that's <laughs> what I there's plenty of other people <laughs> that can Marion plan. Hotel, like, come on, was Paul Curran busy or something? <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, we've got the poor, the, the poor man's Paul Curran over here. You know, I was available. What's Andy doing? Oh, he's passed down in the corner. So <laughs> oh, he's, he's, a, he's had a half a cider. <laughs> yeah. uh, just p- pop this one down for the next week. Yeah. Uh, the Goody Hotel. Uh, I have to tell a story about working there. Okay. All right. Okay, just brilliant. In reference we, to we, that. We will write that one down. So that... That is actually what happened. It, it was the day I almost interviewed Alicia Keys. And like anyone else who got opportunities to go overseas, like Haley, who I used to work with, got to go to LA and interview Dave Grohl. Um, like all these people flying over and doing these things. I'm like, that was my opportunity and I missed out. But yeah, I mean, the Marion Hotel were really entertained on that Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a pact or was it? <laughs> like, you know me and my history of working at pubs. There was no one there. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, mate. Yeah, yeah. You're making, up, making up your own little like rhymes with the numbers. You're like 33, Alicia Keys. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> just for, filthy. 44, Alicia Keys. No. <laughs> like, you're just not even bothering anymore. <laughs> Number 33, the salesperson's a fuckwit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Wow. So, we, look, Andy, we, we spoke about this at the start of the round, which uh, there's plenty still to come on Best Team Men as well. We're going to talk about Connellina at Brighton Trophy in a second uh, because we are bringing, um, you know, a bit of life to uh, what's happening. But this is information that you need to be aware of what happened the all other right. night between Maddie and myself. Maddie, this is over to you, mate, because I'm still unsure about your reasoning behind this. Should we go like. Message for messages if we've... No, yes. I like, I, okay. Play it out for All me. Right, Play okay. it out. I'm just sitting here, boys, with a, with a might, drink. And- there might be some words you need to change. <laughs> <laughs> so at, at 7.12 on Friday night, yep. and this would be completely out of the blue to Jared. Yep. Okay, I said... I was watching the footy. Port Adelaide are uh, taking on Geelong at Metricon. I'm just having a glass of red, just sitting back going, I'm watching. I have my, my phone near me just in case. So, sure. Yeah. Okay. 7.12. Hey, got a strange request. Oh, God. <laughs> Have you got a recent photo of your dog when you have shaved it or trimmed it? All right. What? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I wrote. On a Friday night. <laughs> you know, just sit there. I wrote, no, 
She's getting one next week, you sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I replied with, okay, can you send me one when it happens? Have you got an older pic of when she's had a trim? Is there less hair when you get her clipped? It's starting to feel a bit obsessive. <laughs> I know, like, I know, he's I like, no, but really, can you send one through? <laughs> I'm going to change the F word to the word hell here. What the hell are you on about? Are you cooked? <laughs> <laughs> I said, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Nah, Lids, who's my mate, I was at his house watching the footy. I go, nah, Lids has the same dog and they want to see what it looks like when you do it. My response, I've seen some weird shit in my life. This is right up there. Yeah. (laughs) And I wrote, hey, Siri, say H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. I'm sorry, I can't. You're a dickhead. <laughs> I wrote, I wrote, ha, 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 ha. So, I wrote, weird C-bomb. Yep. And I wrote, so you don't have a pick. He's still going on about it. Yeah, yeah. He's really my response. No, sorry. But when I shave my dog, I'll ensure <laughs> taking a pick for Nick Little, Brett Deledio is the first thing I do. And it was left there. That was it. Okay. Now, Sunday morning. You didn't write back to it. No. I left it. Yeah, I was done. <laughs> Sunday morning. Um, I wrote Jared a message. All I said was, hello. Yeah. All right. Hi. It's still a no for shaved dog. <laughs> <laughs> I replied with, ha, 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 And that was it. That was it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You're right, boys. That is weird. Yes. Well, so talk us through this. Oh, so Lids has got the same dog as you. Okay. So. What do you mean? What's he got my dog for? Anyway, <laughs> Liz has got the same dog as same style, jo- yeah, <laughs> same, same style. Same genre of dog What's as yours? L- Mine is Armani. What's yours? Golden Retriever. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. Yeah. So yeah. Nick's got a Golden Retriever and they've just had a new boy, baby boy, uh, 13 weeks old, Louis. And Wait a second. Sorry. Yeah. There's Nick- a human baby. I think he's talking okay. about there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Nick and his wife. Nick's Jessica. just got a Golden Retriever. And no, he's had-, had a Golden Retriever for, right. for years. Okay. And they've just had a new baby boy. Yes. Louis Little. Congratulations. Okay. So, and they're worried that about the hair being on the ground on Louis the couch. Louis Little? Yeah, Louis Little. So okay. they're worried about the hair being on the, you know, the ground in the couch and stuff like that around the baby. And yep. they want to get it clipped. Okay. And they just don't think. They don't know how it's going to look. They thought it might look weird, so they wanted to see a photo. So there's some context. Yeah. To- I mean, my advice would be um, probably say that at the start, then, hey, um, can you send us a photo of your shaved dog? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> you can take I'm that. very lucky you didn't send something else back to me. <laughs> I've seen his shaved dog. <laughs> it does look weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So we're going to take a breather, and we're going to tell you about uh, Con and Lena at uh, Brighton Trophy Centre because they are, a fantastic organisation, and uh, let's start us off straight away. Winners, champions, legends. South Australia is full of them, we know that. And their cabinets are full of trophies from Brighton Trophy Centre. For 23 years, their family-run business has celebrated victories with a wide range of engraved trophies, cups, plaques, glasses or mugs, honour boards, chopping boards, you name it. Whether it's for the office or on the field, they'll commemorate any achievement on any budget. Sporting clubs receive free engraving, so visit Brighton Trophy Centre or call 83771 Thank you very much to Con and Lena. Boys, I need to know if you remember the first time that you discovered the internet. I know it's quite a broad question. I thought about this yeah. last night and... It's an awkward experience, but um, when I was living in Tasmania, the internet started becoming quite popular in households. Um, just before that, that was only popular in some certain workplaces. So my dad worked at the ABC, so they obviously being uh, a radio broadcaster, there was a television station there as well. They had one computer that had the internet. Yep. So it was kind of like that lost computer. There's just one computer <laughs> that controls everything. So I went um, and spoke to a friend, Con. His name's Con. Oh, Con Valus, who ended up being on MasterChef for some reason. Very small man. Um, and uh, <laughs> I don't know, there's no relevance to the story. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. But he said to me, mate, you should check out this thing they call the internet. Okay, well, what, what is he? he? said, you know, you can type cool things in there like... Silver chair. So I thought this is awesome. I'm going to type silver chair into the internet. At this point, I didn't know search engines exist and things like this. Um, so where my dad's office was, was at the top floor of the ABC where the internet computer was, was the bottom floor. So dad showed me the internet computer and dad just had no idea how to do anything. And he's like, mate, you can work it out. So I sat there. And at this point, one of my dad's colleagues walked past and he's like, 
And this, it sounds so creepy. He's like, huh. Checking out the internet, are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to type in silver chair. He's like, oh, mate, I'll show you some things. So I was uh, I was around just before I was 16, and uh, he's like, oh, I'll check it out. So I basically went to the websites that he instructed me to, and soon enough, my dad walked down and said, mate, what are you looking at that for? <laughs> and I was looking at um, things that you probably shouldn't look at the internet at that time. Wow. So at the same point of trying to look at silver chair, this bloke showed me some adult material. Yeah, some silver hair. <laughs> well, yeah. And it, 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 th- that was my first experience of the internet. And it, it's kind of burned into my brain yeah. forever. <laughs> it's a good start. Because well, we're at that age where the internet was developed around like when we were growing up. Like yes. kids these days are born and it's already there. Yep. They've got it already. So yeah, for us it was, you know, reasonably hard to sort of wrap your head around. But I remember mine was at the Happy Valley Primary School Library and our library teacher gathered the whole class around and he was like, This is just this new thing where it's like a magazine online. Well, it's like a magazine on a computer, basically. So we looked up at that time. Like we thought Rip Curl was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cool. We were like, Rip Curl's the best. So yeah. he's like, you know, what, is it, what, do you, what should we look up? Like, name anything in the world. And all the kids, hey, Rip, Rip Curl. Yeah. <laughs> so, Maddie's in the back. <laughs> what about the bad girl stickers? <laughs> <laughs> um, my dad's mates in the background. I've got some stuff you can look at. Uh, Fanta? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that was mine, yeah. It was um, year seven in the school library. The teacher was there and just yeah, tried to explain it the best he could, but obviously it was new to him as well. So, It's such a weird a weird thing when you look back on it. Like, Do you, do you remember yours, Andy? Did you just go into chat rooms as well? Yeah, like um, at our um, – I went to the middle school with boys, and, and <laughs> okay. uh, so our computer room was all those like um, – that they were Apple Macs, but they were like the real skinny ones with a yeah. tiny little thing, and that like most of them were all black and white. Um, so be playing things like chess and Carmen San Diego. <laughs> oh yeah, where in the world um, is Carmen yeah, San Diego? Yep. Yeah. Um, but there was always a, uh, an internet computer, very similar to the one the ABC. Yeah, and literally it was just always like. But I just remember it being super slow. Yeah, like yeah. to actually. I mean, f- for starters, my keystrokes were pretty pretty fucking slow as well. <laughs> yeah, but um, when it came to looking stuff up, yeah, super slow. And but that's the weird thing about you, Maddie, with the, the Rip Curl thing. That's the stuff that we were looking up. It's like you think about brand names, yeah, and there's names that you know, and you look at like, oh wow, yeah. Yeah. wow, yeah. Yeah. oh Spain, <laughs> like you know, stuff like that. Ah, oh, tennis racket. Yeah, you know? <laughs> all the people used to write on their pencil case. The guy I went to school with like thought he was a legend because he could write limp biscuit on his pencil case. <laughs> you ever used to do the Stussy S? Yeah. As well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to write, do the the three lines, and then three lines underneath, yeah. and connect them right. Shack. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of my fondest memories of early early internet days were. Um, you used to get on MSN. Yeah, you're yeah. talking to the girl that you used to like. ICQ. At, at, ICQ. Yeah, ow, yeah. Ow. And you talk to the girl that you you know you're really into. Mm. You never talk to her at school. Yeah. And you'd ask her out. Yeah. yeah. And then she'd say no, and you go oh. So that was just that was just Jared. He just jumped on while I wasn't went out a drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> chat, I used I used to love chat rooms. I reckon if chat rooms were still like around now, I'd go in them now. But you got to pay for them now, apparently. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah. the other thing was this: like, they called OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> the other thing is you'd be on there and you'd be you know right in. You'd be you know fourteen or fifteen minutes into downloading an hour long song. Yeah. And, uh, Mum would be like, I need to use the phone. Oh, yeah. oh you have to pull the plug out well, and put what, the phone back oh, in. What I used to do in high school, right? So we had dial up internet at home, and there was always a thing uh, two things. It was um, the, the high school went to if your teacher was away for the, the session after lunch, mm. you could go home even if there was like yeah. a relief teacher, right? So I'd always like, you know, lunchtime look at the board and go, no, yeah, my teacher's not there and just go home anyway. <laughs> um, and also some days I just wouldn't even go to school because I just didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm an athlete, I'm a swimmer. <laughs> I'll beat Japan. Uh, I'll beat Japan. Um, so I don't need to go to school. Um, so what I would do is I'll plug, unplug the, the phone and put in that dial-up internet and just sit on the net all day. See, that's Even awesome. if I wasn't using it, all, and the school would call home, and they going, "Where's through. Where's Andrew?" <laughs> and um, they could never get through, so it would never go against whatever. Like mum and dad never knew. That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. But your mum listens to the podcast. Doesn't she you? does, and so does <laughs> she's dad on the, now. She's oh, on does the, he really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he said he doesn't. Um, uh, he he doesn't know about the vacuum thing. What do you mean the broken vacuum? Well, listen to the other to, ones. No, no, he was trying to be funny. Anyway, let's move on, guys. Good one, Dan. Um, (laughs) Thank you very much. Okay. We need to get to this part. Oh, what do you got for us? No, no, you go. 
So last week, uh, and one of the other things that my wife listened to when she heard the podcast last night, she said, ah, oh, Jared, I've just heard insane in the methane, <laughs> as uh, did a lot of people that yes. I work with, and they are aware of that hidden talent that I've got. So we sent Andy on a mission Yep. Last round to find other audio. What do you mean? Are they a real friend or a relative if they don't know about your skill that you have? Yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing. It might be an issue because a lot of people say I need to get checked. Yeah. But I look. I mean, I've got a medal. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, thank enough. you, Con and Lena. Yes. So, what have you come up with? Uh, so, uh, okay, we're going to go back a few years. So, um, as you know, you heard with insane and the methane, and I made something out of your. Pop off. Um, <laughs> this time round, I was sitting there at work. I was like, it was, a, it was you know, maybe you know, in the afternoon during the week. I was like, I can't stand doing normal procedural production at the moment. Mm. Let's make something creative. And as I'm thinking that, I've heard Jared go to air doing a forward sell. And um, he said, okay, uh, this Friday at three o'clock, okay, um, he's telling you what's coming up, yep. right? But instead of three o'clock, he's naffed it up a bit and said three o'clock. <laughs> All right, so I'm like, here we go. I can See, make something out of this. And then the only time, just before you play it, yeah. the, the only time that, you know, Andy is actively listening. <laughs> it's when you make a mistake. Because when you hear on, <laughs> the bat phone doesn't ring, Andy's little studio lights up and you hear him go, ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ha. All right, so this is what I made out of uh, Jared's forward sell, forward selling something on Friday at three o'clock. Sure is, and on Friday after three o'clock. <laughs> Bad man. Hot, 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 hot. Bad man. <laughs> and that's the sort of creative stuff I sort of got up to in my Very days cock. at Nova. I love it. I, I, love I make it. so many of those mistakes still, and I hope people don't listen. We just got to like be professional and push through it. Yeah, yeah well, exactly. Yeah. But I, I sometimes like highly, highlighting them as well, just like the word highlight. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll next week bring in the Adelaide United stuff up. Um, I was going to talk about your haircut, but we're, we're pushing for time, so we can do that next week because you get haircuts on the regular. I don't, um, so you'll probably have another one this time uh, next round as well. Yes, sure. so now we're going to play Andy's Burning Sporting Issues. Oh, you've got to do the pretend yeah. intro. Andy's Burning Sporting Issues. Thank you. Love uh, it. Should we do something <laughs> official for that or just we leave it We probably should. Yeah, we should. <laughs> we should. So right. I'll, I'll explain how it works because this is your game. You guys own this one. So Andy uh, knows nothing about sport apart from uh, Dustin Fletcher, Jared Crouch, Luke Crouch. For example, we had someone in here earlier. We were talking about Matthew Locken, who used to play for Collingwood. <laughs> and uh, Andy said, oh, are you talking about Tony Locken? And we were talking about Tony Plugger Lockett. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's an example. So yeah. Matty <laughs> Fine. <laughs> some sporting headlines, oh. and then uh, he reads them out, and he needs to decipher what the story is about, and uh, I, I love this. I actually love sitting back and watching while I'm drinking this beautiful water, thanks to Con and Lena at Brighton Trophy Centre. <laughs> so I've got three for you this week. Three. Oh, three. God. Okay. okay. Yeah. First one, women stall without cocks. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you know what? Is it to do with, like, um, horse racing? <laughs> No, it's, no, it's a no. different sport. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the, um, uh, you know what? Um, if it's nope. not horse racing, it's definitely, uh, I keep saying it, but only fans. It sounds like something that happens on the air. <laughs> like they're in the toilet stalls and uh, they're getting into business uh, for only five ninety nine a month. No, it's not. No, okay. no, no. It's about the US lacrosse team. Okay. What is that going to do with I anything with lacrosse? Rowing. Well, there's a lady named Della Cox and... Uh, the women's national team didn't go that well without her. So, yeah, good one. See, Matt's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really good. very good. You, not so much. <laughs> Number two, Adidas <laughs> gives Andy Murray. I had to do that because of Andy Martin. Yeah, Andy Murray new shorts after balls pop out. Well, that's an obvious one, isn't it? Is the old, it um, the old tessular um, <laughs> ball popped out? No, of his shorts. <laughs> no, the really? tennis balls popped out of his shorts. When he well, was that's going, not fun. When he was going, <laughs> <laughs> why would you bother talking about that? I don't know, but it was funny. I liked okay. it. Well um, big unit mounts one last comeback. Oh, that was me uh, beating Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Absolutely. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Hell. <laughs> oh no, that was a uh, Arizona Diamondback 
uh, baseball pitcher Randy Johnson is his name actually. Randy yeah, Johnson, yeah. big Jono, yeah. <laughs> big Randall, the old Randall. heavy head, <laughs> Randall Johnson. Uh, uh, congratulations to the Port Pirates who are currently sitting fifth on the table at the moment. It's not so good for what happened over the weekend. They took on Cove FC and they went down two nil. However, we had a bit of progression with Port Pirates because um, Maddie. One of the members of the Port Pirates decided to follow you on Instagram. Yeah, not what? just any member. The man, Skeff. What yeah, happened the old here? Skeff How old. did this happen? Skeffo. The old Skeffo. <laughs> the Skeff old? Yeah, the Skeffo. Oh. Skeff <laughs> no, so I, I can't remember. I can't remember who exactly, but. It, um, I was on someone's profile, and then you know how suggested people you may know come up underneath? Yes. Yeah, yeah. and yes. Skeff was on that. So I actually gave him a follow first. Right. And, yeah, he gave me a follow back. Wow. So, well, well, that's Skeff brilliant. Yeah, pretty happy I, with that. I felt a bit sad because he wasn't following me. Did you give him a follow? I looked at his account. He hasn't posted <laughs> nah, anything. He doesn't, nah. He's got 360 followers, which is weird, and he follows 456 people. And um, I think it's still a bit strange. He, so he's just doing it to stalk people, obviously. But he's a legend, so we always talk positively about the Skeff. This is the guy that scores all the goals for the Port Pirates, mate. He's yeah. an absolute legend. So I sent him a DM. <laughs> Wait, sorry, so I need to go back even further. Sorry, so Port yeah. Pirates are a soccer team. No, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I need to go back. We need to get soccer cameras in here. Sport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Okay, so I sent him a DM. I'm going to read out the DM oh, exchange because it's really flattening. Flattening. Yeah. <laughs> Skeff, you know we talk about you weekly on our podcast. Hey, mate. No, I haven't caught much of it, unfortunately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have seen that you're following the club. It's much appreciated from all of us. All the support and the shout-outs don't go unnoticed. Well, obviously they do, Skiff, because you haven't heard any of them. <laughs> listen to um, I'll have to listen in. What's the details of it? I'm like, oh, it's called Best Team Men. We shout you out weekly, ha, ha, ha. But it was like a really awkward ha, ha, yeah, ha. Yeah, you just said that to sort of not look like yeah. a wanker. Yeah. yeah. Uh, legends, I'll get on board. What nights? Found it on Spotify. I'll be a regular listener. Brilliant. Oh, good so on that's you, great. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. Skeff. I said, if you ever wanted to send us a video shout out, we'll use it. So he could actually give the podcast a shout out. I think yeah. he misunderstood that. He said, <laughs> for sure, mate. Happy to come in for a chat or a shout out. No worries. Brilliant. Thank you. Then underneath scene. No. <laughs> 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 ah, he's too busy oh, scoring goals. He's too yeah, busy right. scoring goals. But that's a, that's a great shout out. You also mm. got a shout out. By yep. one of our old school mm-hmm. listeners or old school boys before Skeff became our boy, and it's got something to do oh. with your footy club. Yeah, so I got a message the other day, uh, Friday, last Friday, yeah, uh, from our man LT. Lindsay Thomas, mate. He played for North Melbourne. Yep. He played for uh, Port Adelaide. He played for Portland, I believe. And uh, he plays Australian rules football. Yeah. He would have played against Dustin Fletcher yeah, at one point. Have. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, right. Okay. Yep. So he sent me a message uh, on Friday morning saying, I'm a fan of the podcast, mate. Ha ha, pretty funny. Great. I well said, done. I go, that's unreal. And then he goes, love the Eddie Betts 300 game story. Now, if, if you haven't heard that, that's where Jared went up to him a bit drunk and made a bit of a dick of himself. Yeah, I told that story last year. So he's got a lot of listening to do. Wow, he's yeah. literally going, well, he's he's going back to the start. He's gone yeah, back yeah, to the start yeah. when okay. we're talking yeah. some serious footy stuff. I might give us LT stats and how many hard ball gets did he get. Goals. Let's yeah. talk about footy. Let's talk about <laughs> you then, know what? Let's not do that, mate. Far out. And then I replied, I said, how funny that we adopted you as our boy last year before I even knew you and now we're at the same footy club. Yeah. He goes, yeah, I couldn't stop laughing. And then he wrote, ha, 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 LT. And I, and I replied, replied, has anyone ever called you that? No. <laughs> That's brilliant. And then, and then he, so he's asked us if we can refer to him as Boof, which is his nickname. Oh, really? So yeah. he's Boof So now. he's Boof. Yeah. Okay. So, totally fine with that. We respect so, people how now, they want to be called. I'm going to put Boof on the plaque. I think you should. He's on. Now, or did, as did, Andy did, called it, the plaque. Yeah, the plaque. <laughs> plaque. Um, d- d- plaque attack. Do you incorporate LT into that or you just write boof? I'll just write boof. Okay. He'll, know, yeah. he'll know what he'll it know. means. Okay. Um, I will put uh, Paul Bonza on the plaque. Uh, Bonds is one half of Pickles and Bonds. I think they're still going, but Bonds is, uh, Bonds is a legend. So he used to do some stuff at the Adelaide 36s. He used to look after all of their media and communications. Um, he works in merchandising now and has a, an amazing voice. So he does PA at the Adelaide Strikers, does commentary for the Sandful, um, and he does some stuff on radio here in Adelaide as well. Cool. Great guy. Bonds, Bonds, you are on the plaque. Beautiful. And Andy, he's, Andy's already put his on at the start. Oh. Yeah, but he kind of Lena, uh, <laughs> yeah. my dad. No, one, just one. Yeah. 
Well, I think Connellina. I'm Con pretty and sure Con is on, on the plaque. Well, I, I'd say that he would put himself on the plaque, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, you want the word Connellina. Yeah, Connellina. But um, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, Dad started listening. I was talking to him about it last night, and he's already jumped on you uh, today okay. and so started listening. Can we refer it to just write Andy's dad? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. that's perfect. Yeah, done. I love that. That's brilliant. Uh, Multi-update before we wrap up this round. I thought we were close. We were. And we it was were. a real easy one as I well. I know, I know. We went 50%. We went. We got two from four, so not ideal, but we'll, we'll dust ourselves off. Yeah, and have so another Port crack Hawthorne and Port this Hawthorne. weekend. Yeah, we'll jump on Port Hawthorne. Now, the winner of the Shifty Lizard $20 voucher is going to be Cameron Hawkins. Great. Okay, he got his leg right, which was Bontempelli anytime goal scorer. Awesome. So uh, send us a DM on Twitter and we'll uh, get your details and send you off a $20 Shifty Lizard voucher. Awesome. Uh, so how do you follow us on the socials again if you want to get in touch? At Best Team Men on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash Best Team Men. How do we get in touch with Ozcast if you want to have a look at all the other amazing podcasts on the Ozcast Network? Well, Jared, you can head to ozcastnetwork.com. Oh, that's it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Thank you very much for having us. Con and Lena, Shifty Lizard, uh, Odd Sock Mob, they are looking after us. Remember, promote the podcast. And the other thing I would suggest is if you tag in Odd Sock Mob, uh, I'm not sure they're on Twitter. So even if you just write Odd Sock Mob on Twitter, um, we will put you right into the running to win a pair of Odd Socks as well. We'll put a photo up with these amazing medals. It's been great, boys. It has We've been, been here for about an hour. Yeah, it's been great. We, we always Phone find... We, that's gone quick again. Yeah, yeah, it has. We always find stuff to talk about. Yeah. I want to leave you with this. Water is not wet. There's a debate on that, isn't there? Mm-hmm. See you, boys. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning Ozcast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details.